Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and in today's video, you'll have seen by the title, I picked up some products from Metamorphosis. I've had these for quite a while. Um, getting around to things is not my forte. Um, anyways, we finally made it around to these. Um, the palette that I picked up is the Linda Dazzle palette and I love the artwork. I love the aesthetic of Metamorphosis products. Um, absolutely gorgeous, all animal themed. And oh, as soon as I saw this color story, I knew I had to have this because these are my favorite color combinations. Just perfect. Blue, green, pink, and purple. I love this color story. This is me in a palette, 100% love it um i do already have the lily croaks palette for metamorphosis i love that also um while i was there i did pick up a couple more products um unfortunately dopey here picked the wrong shade highlighter it is way too dark for me but just look at that little teddy bear imprint absolutely stunning um my own fault i just picked the wrong shade Anyways, let's move on. So the blush is the Moo blush. <laughs> Just look at the cow. Look over her lashes. She's so pretty. And then this is the shade. Love the shade. And finally, I did pick up one of the liquid lipsticks. This component is stunning. Uh, this is in the shade Candid. So yeah, guys. If you would like to see how I created this look and hear what my first impressions are on these products, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I've primed my eyes with the P. Louise Base Pro in Rumor 02. And I'm first going to go into Forgets. If you hear laughing in the background, Kira's watching stuff on her phone. Um, as you can probably tell, we're still downstairs at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take this. I do have the Lily Croaks palette from Metamorphosis. And oh, I highly recommend it, guys. If you like that colour story, it's such a beautiful palette. This pink. Ooh, this pink is beautiful. So I already know that well, I say no. I had a feeling I was going to love this anyway because I love the Lily Croaks. So pretty. I only discovered Metamorphosis in 2021, I believe, um, when I got the Lily Croaks palette. And I, I've just been in love with the brand ever since. Um, I'm always watching what they're releasing. Um, the trouble is, obviously, the shipping to the UK. Um, it's expensive, it takes a while. Um, so I'm never going to be one of the first people filming with anything, um, which is probably why this has sat for a while because newer stuff kind of got used first. But I'm so happy I picked this up. This is absolutely gorgeous. the aesthetic of the brand is just amazing i i love the animal themes they are so cool this look at that so the aesthetic where it's all these cutesy animals um i mean the blush no <laughs> um i'm sad i know but i like that i like that a lot Right, let's go in with, what should we go in with next? I think I know what I'm doing. Um, so I'm next going to go in with Magical. Um, I did use a Spectrum A12 for the pink and I'm using another Spectrum A12 for the purple, Magical. Did I say the pink was called Forget? I don't know if I said that or not. Um, and this one is going to go right in the centre here of my crease and then 
go upwards. Ooh. I know purples are notoriously difficult to formulate, so I'm always intrigued when there's a, a purple to try. I'm looking up to try and check that I'm actually in frame. It's being in a different setup, it's uh, thrown me a bit. I will be back upstairs at some point soon. Um, but for now, I'm afraid my living room is the background. Well, this is pretty. Let's see if we can build this up in the crease. Yeah, look at that. That's a nice purple. I love the tone of it. It's beautiful. I think magical is the correct word. I think this is the tone of purple. I well, I say I love all tones of purple really, but this shade really kind of gets me. Look at that. If any of you guys have tried any of the products from Metamorphosis then I'd love to hear what you think um, and also if you've got kind of products that I don't so I only have the Lily Croaks palette um, the Linda Dazzle palette the one I'm using now um, the Moo blush highlighter which I definitely picked a shade that's too dark and a liquid lipstick I'm so intrigued I really want to try more I just wish that shipping to the UK wasn't Kind of so expensive and didn't take so long but we can't have it all those of you in like america and that 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 like the uk indie brands are in the same kind of situation i'm sure okay and next going into yourself i've just realized Life is magical, smile more, never forget to love yourself. I hadn't actually noticed that. I like that. Um, so I'm going into yourself. <laughs> That's an odd thing to say. I'm Sorry, I'm such a child. And this is going to go right on this outer area here. Oh, this is a nice blue. I think they've picked just a really beautiful selection of shades for this palette. Look at that. Beautiful. I am not complaining at that. I'm just going to Take it to where I can see it following underneath. Where I can see it following underneath. I know what I mean. So that it will line up. It will line up with uh, the lower lash line better. I'm so technical. <laughs> yeah, definitely not a pro. I'm just someone that likes to have fun with colourful makeup. And hopefully you guys are here too because you like colourful makeup. Or even if you don't like it on yourself, maybe you just like seeing what colourful makeup's out there. Who knows? Let me know. Let's have a chat in the comment section below. Also, if any of you guys know of any indie brands that maybe I hadn't heard of or you really think I should try definitely drop me a message or a comment in the comment section below um to see my messages on instagram also and over on instagram i'm just the same not your basic stuff um so yeah if there's brands that you think i should look into trying then let me know oh, this is beautiful pigments beautiful it's blending beautiful i'm not really surprised i did fully expect to love this um because i love my lily croaks palette 
and yeah I think this just as good these shades are stunning I will go back through and blend them into each other better I just want to get the the placement that I'm looking for and also I will blend the edges I won't leave that harsh line oh these shades are absolutely stunning Okay, I'm just going to quickly go through all the shades again and we'll continue. I've been getting out of bed these past few days. Think it's fair to be proud about it. I've quit ordering from all those fast food chains. I'm feeling better, there's no doubt about it. And my days are brighter, my shoulders are so much lighter. Okay guys, so I have blended everything out, popped on some NYX Glitter Primer and now we're going into the shimmers. So I am first going into To Love and that is going to go right on this outer part here. Oh look at that, how pretty is that? Ooh. Yeah, this part is definitely of the same amazing quality as the Lily Croaks. No doubt about that. Look at that. All those mattes just blended beautifully. This is stunning. Okay, I, I have no complaints so far. I am thoroughly enjoying this. Ooh, okay. And then... The next shimmer I'm going in with is Life Is, which is the purple shimmer. And I'm going to pop that right next to that blue. Oh. These shimmers are stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. very nice so and the last shimmer for the lid i'm going in with is never the pink shimmer and that is going to go right on the inner part oh my word this is stunning jeez oh now this shimmer is absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I, I cannot complain at the quality of any of this so far. This is just stunning. Oh, that is looking stunning. Um, I do apologise if you can hear the construction work going on. It's been going on for weeks already. God knows how long it's going to be going on for. So I'm just having to accept it for now. So if you can hear that, I'm so sorry. Um, just going back in with the blue mat yourself. To blend that in. 
Okay, I'm so in love with this palette so far. It is beautiful. Everything is just blending beautifully. I swear I've had a headache every single day since they started that construction work. <sighs> oh. Right guys, I'm going to nip off and finish my face. Um, I will come back to do the lower lash line, the blush, and the lippy with you guys because I have some of that to try. So if you would like to see that, then don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so I've got my base on, um, done liner and lashes. So let's crack on with the lower lash line. So I am first going to go in with more and I'm trying to use all of the colours and this way I get to take that right up against the lash line. Try and make sure that you can see what I'm doing. Oh, this is pretty. I'll blend it out a bit more in a second. I just want to get it on. This colour story is just me in a palette. I am loving it. Blue, green, purple and pink. Okay, and I'm just going to blend it out. Blend the edges out. So it's not just a harsh line under there. And it just blends perfectly into the blue. So the final shade to use is Smile, the Green Shimmer, and I'm super excited. Um, so I'm just going to put that on the brush. I'm going to give it a quick spray. And then I'm going to, going to take that right on this inner part here. That is gorgeous. I'm loving this. Okay, so that's every shade in the palette used. Um, right, where are we at now? So for in my waterline, I'm going to use the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Insomniac. I think this is going to look beautiful. Yeah, I'm loving that. Okay. Looking good. Just going to pop some mascara on my lower lashes and then we'll continue. I'm just using the Barry M Feature Length Mascara. Loving this. Okay, so eyes done. I do have a new blush to try, also from Metamorphosis. This one, I believe, is just called Moo. I love it. And this is the shade absolutely stunning let's get a brush oh it looks like it's a nice buildable formula i'm not mad at that i can work with 
either full on pigment or buildable because I do love my blush um, but if you like a more subtle look you could definitely get away with it with this blush um, I do like mine to show up a little bit more This blush is absolutely stunning. It's such a shame that I picked the wrong shade in highlighter. Um, it looks beautiful. It's just going to be way, way too dark for me. This is the highlighter. Yeah, sadly, I would not get away with that. <laughs> but never mind. I will have a look at getting another one next time I order from Metamorphosis one that will actually suit my skin type or skin tone um, this this is just beautiful absolutely beautiful alright for highlighter I'm going to use the same as I used for my inner corner and brow bone and that is one of the Kaleidos Space Age highlighters the shade Diamond Dasher and I don't believe I've used I don't know why I'm showing you that. I don't believe I've used this on my channel yet. So let's give it a go. It looks absolutely gorgeous on the inner, co inner corner of the brow bone. Ooh. These are more of a glittery highlight. Um, but I, I quite like that. Look at that. I absolutely adore these highlighters from Kaleidos. My plan is to get all of them, um, in particular the Prophecy one and the new Multichrome one. I love the look of those. But being in the UK, it does tend to cost a bit more. I do like to keep my eye out on Depop um, for anything like this. So I've managed to find some amazing bargains on Depop. That, that is beautiful. I'm just going to run the blush brush over. Let's just melt them in. Yeah, I'm, I am loving this. Absolutely loving it. What's next? Let's give the face a quick spray. Um, so I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm loving this. I hate the smell of it, but I love what it does. Everything I've got on my face will be listed in the description box below along with Metamorphosis website. So the last product to try is from Metamorphosis, one of the liquid lipsticks in the shade Candid. I love the component. Look at that. Beautiful. And I went for a more neutral colour. I'm quite loving neutral lip colours at the moment. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's got this kind of tear-shaped flat doe foot. So let's, ooh. Well, this feels super comfortable. It feels more like a lip cream, but it is drying down. Ooh, give that a second and we'll see if that's transfer proof. Let's take off the eyes. OK, 
Okay, I, I'm loving this. So guys, let me know what you think of this finished look. I'm living for it. This lipstick is so comfortable. And yes, oh, you see all the scratches on the back of my hand. Let's use this one. Absolutely no transfer. It doesn't feel like I've got anything on my lips at all. It is not drying. Hmm. See how this lasts, but so far, this could end up being a favourite formula. This is super comfortable. Super comfortable. Oh, loving it. The blush is just adorable. I love the little cow on there. She's so pretty and she's got lashes too. And this shade is beautiful. I would say it's a buildable formula, so suitable for whether you like a subtle blush or a more noticeable blush. Um, I think this is a beautiful formula. Um, I cannot comment on the highlighter because my own fault, it's just way too dark. Have a look at the little imprint there. It's a little teddy bear. I should pay more attention when I'm ordering things. Now, the palette. Oh. Linda Dazzle. I mean, just look at her. Look at those lashes. She's got rosy cheeks and pink lashes and I am living for it. And this colour story is literally me in a palette. These colours together are just my happy place. I am loving this. I can see this becoming a new favourite and just living for the colour story and they performed beautifully as you can see I had no issues blending I had no issues building up pigment I would imagine it does appear to be more of a buildable formula which is great for if you are not looking for a bam wham bam eye look um but yeah I'm I'm living for this absolutely loving it metamorphosis is just a brand that i love um so yeah i will make sure i pop the link for the website in the description box below let me know what you guys think do you love metamorphosis do you have any of these products do you have any of the other products let's have a chat in the comment section below i'm just blown away love it um so i'm gonna leave it there if you've liked this video please do give it a like um if you are new and you're not already subscribed and you like colorful makeup and supporting indie brands discovering new indie brands then please do subscribe and join the family so thank you so much for watching i hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon goodbye